so fast, it's such a powerfully quick process. The results were just short of phenomenal. I kept getting feedback from my clients saying that it worked on them over and over again. releases people from the chains that keep them bound to a mediocre life. EFT should be tried for everything. It's an amazing resource tool and it should be in everyone's first aid kit. I think we've got to take a look at who we are and what we've got and how we function and then begin to apply this information in a practical manner. Hi, this is Nick Ortner, creator and producer of The Tapping Solution. And the 2013 Tapping World Summit. I'm so delighted that you're with us today. Today, it's a real honor to be where I am. I'm sharing this lovely couch in sunny San Diego with a mentor and a friend, uh, Louise Hay. Now, you know, usually with these kind of interviews, you have a whole long bio, and I was doing a little research about what to say about Louise, and the bio is a little bit long for this. I'm holding her book here, uh, You Can Heal Your Life. You might have heard of it. It sold, I think, at last count, 50 million copies. Now, Louise, worldwide. usually worldwide. So, I, I got to break this down. Usually, we call someone a best-selling author, right? So you're a best-selling author, but 50 million copies. Do they give you a new title for that? Do you get I, any I just sort of find it amazing, and I feel I didn't have anything to do with it. Once I wrote the book, a life said this book must go out, mm. and took over. And how many things in our lives do we want to have happen like that, and, and, and they don't? What's the difference? What did you do differently with this book that I, other people aren't doing? I didn't do anything with the book. I just mm. wrote it, and wrote it because I wanted to help more people than I could do in a workshop. Mm. Well, Louise has helped people around the world and with Hay House Publishing, which is, I don't know how many books you've sold through Hay House Publishing. Do you have that number? No. Hundreds no, of no, millions. No. and have to ask Reed Reed, for that. Reed knows the answers. <laughs> yes. Reed knows the answers. So uh, thank you so much for joining us today. This is a really special moment for me. These, the Tapping World Summit, this is the fifth annual one, and every year we just do the same thing that you do, put out content focused on helping people and sharing something that's really powerful. Now, I know you've been doing a little tapping. You know some a about bit. tapping. I'm a, new, I'm a newbie You're a newbie tapping. with tapping. Did you think it was as delighted. weird as I thought it was when I first found it? No, I didn't think it was weird. I thought it was delightful. I said, something this simple and easy could really work? That's great. Right, after uh -huh. so many things that are so challenging for us. Do you remember what your first experience was with, with tapping? Was it, was it Cheryl sharing it with you, Cheryl yes, Richardson? Yes, yes, yes. And we, we did a big tapping on the last session that we had that we spoke together. I got myself in a little trouble, and so she pulled me out of it. She said, let's tap, and the whole audience tapped with us. Beautiful, it was beautiful. Wonderful. You know, one of the things that I love about tapping is that we, we're taking a look at what's going on in our lives, and we're taking a hard look, which is a lot of the same thing that happens in your book. Now, we take a look at what's going on, and we tap on what's called the negative, or I like to call the truth, right? Mm -hmm. It's what's going on. So what if you, is happening What is happening moment, right then? Yes. So if your back hurts, it's mm -hmm. what's happening. If you're angry, it's what's happening. I get a lot of pushback from people who say, I'm scared to go look at that. I'd rather just do affirmations right away, and I want to be positive. Mm -hmm. And of course, I know you believe more than anybody in the world about being positive, but why is it important to take a look at what's happening? I think, well, if you're going to clean a house, you have to see the dirt. Mm. You know, if you're going to clean a turkey pan, if you're going to do the dishes, you have to see the dirt that you're cleaning. And then when you do that, then you can do lots of good affirmations. Mm. And why do you think people are scared to look at the dirt? Mm. I can't speak for others. Have you ever been scared of looking at the dirt? Oh, sure. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I think we all are. I mean, I, one mm -hmm. of the things that I say about tapping is that it, it works so well and so fast, but it requires a degree of honesty and, mm -hmm. and truth and really taking a look at, you know, it's oftentimes easier to do the other things in our lives that are important, like exercising and drinking green juice. And I mean, you do that, I do that, 
But that's actually easier to do than it is to say, yeah. do I finally forgive my mother or father? Mm -hmm. You know, do I finally, am I going to let go of the anger or that I have? Do I admit that I was part of it, you know? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Tell me a little more. You, you've done a little bit of tapping with Cheryl. We did a little bit of tapping mm -hmm. on, on some neck pain and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Why do you think it works? What, what's your understanding of what's going on with it? Well, you're touching the body, so you're obviously touching the right places, mm. the meridians, which is sending one signal to your body. Mm. And then you're doing it in a positive manner that sends another signal to the mind, and somehow it works, and I haven't a clue. Well, I'm but right. I don't have to know. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I'm right with you. I, I just finished uh, a book for Hay House mm -hmm. that... Uh, that's come being What's published it in called? April. It's called The Tapping Solution. Okay. You know, it's not as pretty as this, but it's a good looking book. You well, know, you know. So, um, <laughs> you and to read, we might make it. We, you take this fancy and pretty. <laughs> uh, we'll see. In the book, you know, for the book, I've spent the last ten years using tapping and not knowing exactly what works. Some different theories, and in the book, I've did a lot more research to find out what's the real science behind it. Mm -hmm. Not because we necessarily need it. You and I are kind of like we'll do whatever. But there's a certain I population. I my inner dig. Yeah, there you go. You mm -hmm. know, there's a certain population that wants to know what's the Western science, and the latest research is pointing to the fact that when we're doing this tapping on these meridian points, we're sending a calming signal to the amygdala, which is that fight or flight okay. response there in the brain. Mm -hmm. And as as you well know, a lot of what we deal with on a daily basis is that stress response, mm -hmm. you know, that fight or flight response or something that's coming fear. up. Fear, fear. A, a lot of the work that you teach talks about, you know, you can hear your life going back in the past mm -hmm. and thinking about your parents and your childhood and the things mm -hmm. you haven't let go of. Why is it so important to do that in our work? A lot of people say, I don't want to look at the past. My childhood was miserable and mm -hmm. I never want to think about it again. Well, then it's very important that you start forgiving. Mm. Because forgiveness sort of wipes the slate clean yeah. so that other things can come in. Yeah, yeah. Well, the tapping setup phrase, right, is even though I have whatever I the problem that. is, mm. I love and forgive myself, or I accept myself. I love myself. and adore myself, or I love and approve of myself. Yeah. Yes. Right because off the... If the... That's, to me, like the mirror work that I do, mm. or have people do also, is to look in the mirror and look into your own eyes and start with something really simple but difficult, like yeah. I love you, yeah. I really, really love you. And most people can't do that yeah. at all because it's just too painful. Yeah. They have all these messages back here that says you're no good and you can't be. And besides, you, your makeup isn't on right or you forgot to shave today or something. Yeah. You know? uh, but once you can do that, if you do it over and over again for a while, it's like you connect on a different level with that inner child mm. who's been waiting for years and years and years for you to acknowledge it. Yeah. And something happens, and I couldn't tell you what it is, but I have learned that the people who do their affirmations in front of a mirror mm. make much quicker progress than other people. Yeah, I can, yes. yeah. I, it's, I, it's just, it pushes through. Yeah, yeah. And what I can see if, you know, it brings up so much stuff and what people can do when they do that mirror work, if something specific comes up, like I'm not good enough about this, they can, after they're done doing the work, they can go and tap on mm -hmm. those issues. So sort of combine both together. You do the mirror work, it brings up the things that are bubbling. Or maybe you can even tap in front of the mirror. Maybe that'll be the next innovation, to tap and, and say affirmations in front of the mirror. You know? Yes. So, yes. So do you want to do a little tapping? Sure. You know, for, for, sure. The, for the crowd? So I know we did a little, there, you had a little neck pain the last yes. couple of days, so we did it, some it's tapping. Better, but the, we could always do a little more yeah. on that. So how, you... how deep do you want to go? Well, how do you, do you want to take me? <laughs> so let's, for, for people who weren't with us okay. privately the last couple of sessions, let's talk about the neck pain and what was going on and, mm -hmm. um, and our, our conversation. It started as some spasms? Yes, it started as some spasms that wouldn't go away. Okay. And I was feeling tremendous pressure back here and down my neck. And uh, I realized that this went back to a time when I was five years old mm. and... Um, my stepfather used to hold my head under water, mm. and he had his thumb in that particular place. Yeah. And my thought was, for some reason, it's time for me to let this go. Yeah. And the thing is how to find out how to do it, because yeah. I wasn't doing very well on it. Yeah. I was just pounding away at myself. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's been a pattern of mine for a long time. Just before I break through to something really wonderful, yeah. it's like I do something in my body, to clean up. To, yeah, to clean up yeah. or maybe just to punish myself one more time. I haven't mm. figured that quite out. But, you know, at 86, I'm still willing to go for it. Oh, honey. beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, tell me, so you said yes. to, to punish yourself one more time. What, yes. what does that mean to you? Well, as a child, I was punished so much. Mm. It was like a, a, 
it was a way of life for me and was one after another. And when I first entered the metaphysical world, uh, I discovered that every single time I did something nice for myself, I would hurt my body. Mm. It was like I wasn't allowed to have that yeah, goodness. Yeah. And I had to do a lot of work on dissolving that. You know, some problems are more sticky than others. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I'm well, sure it's really reassuring for people around the world to hear that Louise Hay, the queen of affirmations, sold 50 million copies of her book, big, is still you, doing still, her work. Absolutely. Right? Yes, and I think that's important to. because we do have a tendency in, in the mm -hmm. society to just want to be fixed, right? Yes, to and have, that's and it. that's it. When, yeah. when I get over this problem, this will mm -hmm. be it. I'll never have to deal yeah. with anything again. Well, you know, a lot of us just want to stop when we hit a safe place. Yeah. I mean, you've got a bit of money, you've got some nice friends, you have a good house to live in, you're okay, you know, and uh, you think, all right, that's fine. I'm not yeah. going to touch anything else. But I have watched me and how life works mm. for me is that when I get to a really good level, then it's like, okay, now we're going to deal with this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another thing. Yeah. And I've learned to just say, okay, what do I do? Yeah. yeah. You know, instead of leave me alone, don't talk to me yeah. about that. Yeah. So the neck pain, it, it, there's spasms, so it doesn't hurt right now. Not right? this moment. Okay. No. Not Which since I'm, you walked in oh, the door well, this you know. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm your glad magic, it doesn't hurt. Your magic presence. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm glad it doesn't hurt. It's always easier to tap when we can see a difference. But mm -hmm. let's tune into some of, and we did a little bit of tapping on what happened when you were five years old. When mm -hmm. you think of that memory now, how do you feel? What, what comes well, up for you? Well, it isn't as strong as it was. Okay. I so think you feel we, like it's... We dropped like 50% okay. in that tapping. So that was good. Okay. And I've done a little by myself, but it's not the same thing as working with a real pro. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go back to... And let's just we'll both take close our eyes and just mm. sort of connect. We'll, we'll ignore everybody else out there and we'll close our eyes and just... And I want you to just... They can connect with us. Exactly. Too. I want you to think back to that memory if it feels safe to do so. Mm -hmm. And how do you see that memory now? Is it, do you feel tension in your body? Is it a picture you see? Is it just something you remember? Well, it's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. Okay. And what's the feeling? Well, it's a, a, a feeling of fear. Mm. It's not the terror that it was, but it, it, it's still there because, okay. you know, the child is very helpless in that point. Yeah. And can't really do anything to get out of it. It's a trapped situation. Mm. And where do you feel that fear in your body? Oh, in here. Okay. Very much. And yes. how strong is it? Zero to ten? Mm. Five. Five, okay. Mm -hmm. And before, when we tapped before, it was much right. higher, so yes. it's gone down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we do some tapping and we'll look to move that fear. So tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I have this fear in my body. Even though I have this fear in my body. From what happened with my, with my stepfather. What happened with my stepfather so I deep, many years ago. So many years ago. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept and love myself. Even though I'm still carrying this fear in my body. Even though I'm still carrying this fear in my body. From what happened with my stepfather. From what happened with my stepfather. I choose to release it now. I choose to release it now. Even though my body doesn't want to let go of this fear. Even though my body does not want to let go of this fear. It's had it for so long. It's had it for so long. And it needs it to stay safe. And it needs it to feel safe. I choose to release it all now. I choose to release it all now. Okay, now let's go tapping through the points. The eyebrow point, this fear in my body. This fear in my body. Side of the eye, all this fear. All this fear. Under the eye, this fear about what happened. This fear about what happened. Under the nose, it was so scary. It was so scary. Under the mouth, I felt so much fear. I felt so much fear. Collarbone, I was only five years old. I was only five years old. Under the arm, and I didn't really know what was happening. And I didn't really know what was happening or what to do. Or what to do. Top of the head, I didn't know what to do. I did not know what to do. Eyebrow, the time has passed. The time has passed. Side of the eye, I am safe now. I am safe now under the eye, and I choose to let this fear go. And I choose to let this fear go. Under the nose, it's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. Under the mouth, it's time to let it go. It's time to let it go. Collarbone, letting it all go. Letting it all go. Under the arm, letting it go now. Letting it go now. Top of the head, letting it all go now. Letting it all go now. Take a deep breath. And as always, we tune back in. So tune back into that feeling in your chest and mm -hmm. shoulders and see if it's shifted at all. It has shifted, yes. So is it a five before? Where would you say it is now? 
Two. Two, okay. I dinky a little too. <laughs> and then did anything come up for you as we were doing that tapping? Any other memories or any other feelings? Mm, I don't know. Nothing new. Okay, that's right. We're just looking to see. If, and was the memory very present for you when we were doing the tapping? Was, were you, it was dissolving. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do this because it's only a two and mm -hmm. I feel like we can positive affirmation it out. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to lead the way because I can't lead the queen of affirmations and positive <laughs> affirmations. So let's start tapping on the side of the hand and okay. you just give me a positive affirmation. What do you, th if, you had, if, if you were talking to someone else and they mm -hmm. said, well, I had this trauma mm -hmm. when I was five years old and mm -hmm. I felt so much terror, mm -hmm. what would be the positive affirmation for okay, that? Okay, all right. <sighs> you know you have an angel. We all have angels and you have a special angel that is your own. And in spite of all that you have gone through, this angel has taken care of you and protected you all your life. And you can call on this angel now to help dissolve the rest of this issue. Mm. For the average point. The rest of this issue, this issue of pain and fear, this issue of being terrorized by life, this issue of being helpless and not being able to t have anybody take care of you. Feeling all alone and frightened. But you have an angel now and you know this angel is here. And this angel can do. This angel is with you. This angel will protect you for the rest of your life. It will dissolve any issues that you've been through. It's time for you to be free now. You can run and dance and play and be who you were meant to be, who be who you were born to be. You are safe now. It's safe to feel safe. It's safe to be safe. It's safe to let go. There's a great freedom and a great love surrounds you. And all is truly well your life now and so it is and so it is oh. Oh, that was interesting that was beautiful <laughs> I didn't know where that came from if you weren't tapping along with us I highly suggest you rewind the video <laughs> and do that tapping because that is really special to, uh -huh. to yes. have that from you yes. Yes. so let's tune back in to your body <clears throat> tune back into that fear and see <clears throat> anything's left Oh, I think it's pretty much gone. Yeah. Thank you, kind sir. Oh, thank you. See, you activated it. But we also have it within us yeah. to do it. Well, that's one of the things that I love about tapping, that I try to impress on people all the mm -hmm. time. You know, people get caught up in the language. You know, I don't, mm -hmm. you say it so eloquently, you say it so eloquently, what do I say? Just mm -hmm. connecting to the feeling and mm -hmm. just speaking our truth, speaking what's going First on. First of all, talk about what's bothering you, yeah. what the issue is, and then start putting in how you would like it to be. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. How do you want to feel when it's through, the tapping session yeah. is through? Yeah. And you can do, you can tap and visualize, you know, you can really connect it with anything. I mean, what we're always doing is just calming the body and you can feel the difference. It's just, you know, it's like taking a deep breath and feeling a meditative space. The tapping just really balances the body and the meridians and makes it so, to me, it's almost like the affirmations just go in even deeper, you know, when you well, do the tapping yes. with it. And, and you can, we can say to ourselves, you know, I can do it. Mm -hmm. I can do this. It's not just Nick that can do it. I can do Absolutely. it too, you know, Absolutely. I can do it. And then just start doing yeah. Negative first, and then positive. Yeah, and it's so important to be empowered. You know, we go mm -hmm. to doctors and mm -hmm. psychologists and psychiatrists, and there's absolutely a place for them in our mm -hmm. society, and amazing people doing great work. But it's challenging when it's like, oh, I need to go to this person to fix me, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to going inside. And I know that's what we're both about, empowering people so they feel that they can go inside and do their own work. Now, do you tap on a daily basis? I do, I do. You start the morning with a tapping. Do you do it in bed? Or? You know, I don't think I'd do it in bed. I probably will. Um, could, it's, but we could. You people could, could, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I probably need a better wake-up practice than I have now. <laughs> it's usually like checking my email a little too quickly, you oh, know. Okay. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely tap in bed. Tapping before going to sleep is great, mm -hmm. you know, because you mm -hmm. think a lot of times nightmares and just not sleeping well is all that stuff that's mm -hmm. built up during the day. So mm -hmm. we can tap before bed and just let go of the things that have happened. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard to go to sleep if you're angry at something your boss said at two in the mm -hmm. afternoon, you've been carrying around all day. 
doing the tapping then? I think know? I'm going to try doing it when I first wake up. Yeah. You know, see, I, you know, I have this habit now of I bless my bed and thank it for a really good night's sleep. Nice. But I could think I could put a little tapping in there. I just, like it. You know, this is a, all about how what a wonderful day this will be. Yeah. And, uh, that, you know, I'm That's in good shape and I'm fine. Great. Report back to us yeah, on that, well, how that yeah, goes. Yeah. yeah what, for my personal experience with tapping is right when I first got into it, I used it a lot. Mm -hmm. I basically went to all the things in my past where I, was, I hadn't let go of. You know, it, was, mm -hmm. it was the bad breakup that was still mm -hmm. holding on to something. And I like to describe to people because people go, well, it's in the past. But, you know, there's a difference between some things in our past where... Mm -hmm. There's just a memory. It's just it happened, and we learn the lesson, yes, and we and move on. It. But some of them, our bodies react. That's it. You think about something, and you're like, frightened or I'm still angry at that person I was angry about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, what am I doing? And I tell people that you're carrying that anger every day, whether you think about it or not. It's affecting your cells, and you know, you know that. And that's really the work that happens. And you can hear your life going back and doing that work. I recommend that people, you know, beyond the list of things, of uh, you know, if you have something with anxiety, here's a mm -hmm. cause for it. The earlier part of the book where it really helps you explore the different things in your life, your relationships, you can use tapping along with that really well. So I, I did to that. To give you a percentage of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary. You've done enough. Um, and so I did a lot of work in the beginning, and then I got to the place where mm -hmm. now, yeah, I'm always still tapping on things, mm -hmm. but they're different kind of challenges. Yes, you know? And then you tap with other people so much, too. Yeah, and, and I think and that helps. And that benefits you also. It does. Also. I think every tapping benefits us. It does. I'm just learning about this, but I'm starting to... To figure out how it all works. Figuring yeah. it out. Yes. Yeah, no, I do, I do so. believe it, it makes a big difference. I, most of the time when I tap on a daily basis these days, it's on procrastination. That's, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. When I find... You know, I used it for writing my book. It's so there's times when you're writing and it's flowing, and there's other times you're staring at the computer and you're saying, you know. When you procrastinate, what do you usually do? Um, you know, I'll either do emails, which is doesn't okay. seem like procrastination, but it is because yeah. I'm reading the same email 14 times and just staring at it, and mm -hmm. or going online, reading news sites, you know, TV here and there. But some people um, eat. Yeah, I, I, I don't eat. You can use tapping for that, too. <laughs> yes, you know? yes, yes, um, yes. So, but what I do is I'll be, you know, I'm, I'm staring at the computer and I don't want to work on this project or the book, mm -hmm. whatever. And I'll say, even though I don't want to do this, I deeply and completely accept myself. Sometimes just that basic tapping will move it. And what I love about it is that if you do tapping for five minutes, you get to the place where you go, I'm either ready to go into this or you rec recognize, no, I've been writing this book way too much. I need to go for a walk. Mm -hmm. you know, but usually what we do is we don't have any clarity on mm -hmm. our decisions. So we say, well, if I go for a walk, I'm procrastinating. So we beat ourselves up mm -hmm. for doing the exact mm -hmm. thing that we need to do. Mm -hmm. right? So I find the tapping just brings you to a place of peace, a place of clarity. Then you can make a better decision as to what mm -hmm. to do. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I think you could also go to the mirror and do a little tapping and say, what, what could I do right now mm. to make you feel good, mm. to make you happy? I like that. Yes. I like that. Because we don't think about that. You know, we want life to make us yes. happy. Yes, yeah. But it's all in here. Yeah. And if you just think about it, what, what could I do right now to feel better? Yeah. You know? Beautiful. Any parting thoughts for our lovely audience out there oh <laughs> love yourself and tap happy <laughs> I, I couldn't have said better louise thank you so much for having you're me welcome, in your darling. beautiful home and thank you for your time you're welcome all is well thanks everybody i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did i'll see you soon